Fujifilm is thriving and I wanted to find out why. I bought the Fuji X-H1 back in 2018. This was their best camera, the flagship. In this clip, we will focus on Fuji's film simulations. It's that persuasive element that convinces people to buy these. By the end of this clip, we'll reach a conclusion. Do these film simulations truly justify the investment? Let's dive in. Now, if you do a Google search for camera brands market share, you will see that Fuji is in the fourth place. There are a lot of sources that give you the market share in recent years. There might be small differences in numbers, but roughly, this is the situation. Fujifilm is in the big four, doing better than Olympus and Panasonic. If you search for the mirrorless market share that excludes DSLRs, Fujifilm seems to occupy the third place, better than Nikon. So these are good times for Fujis. Street photographers prefer them a lot. And I was very curious to see what's the deal with this camera brand and what's the deal with their film simulations. Let's see all of them on my Fuji X-H1. The first one is Provia, the camera's default film simulation mode. It brings moderate contrast and sharpness and has a faithful color reproduction. Provia is a good general purpose setting, good for landscapes, portraits, nature, and even fashion. Velvia gives more impact by delivering vibrant images. By giving a boost to color saturation and contrast, it's a good choice for landscapes and nature photography. Next, we have Astia, which brings softer contrast but vibrant colors. A nice mix, good for interiors, fashion, or portraits. Classic Chrome brings the documentary-style photography ambience that we see in old magazines. By desaturating colors slightly, especially the reds and greens, and by enhancing shadow contrast, we get a timeless feeling. A good choice for photojournalism. Proneg High and Proneg Standard. Both are good for portraits, as they deliver nice skin tones. But the high version offers more saturation and contrast, making it a nice option for empathizing form and texture. The standard version is a good pick for lifestyle images and street photography. It is also nice if you have complete control over your lighting. I don't know why, but Eterna is probably my favorite film simulation. It delivers understated colors, flat contrast, and extended dynamic range. This is a good choice for recording videos, but I think it also works great if you're photographing the city. Acros is a black and white film simulation with rich clarity and sharpness. Acros also seems to be adding some fine grain, an inspiration from the original Neopan 100 Acros film. Monochrome is pretty straightforward. The classic black and white look, but with the smooth character provided by Fuji. A nice pick if you're focusing on composition. Of course, in monochrome, as if you were putting a filter in front of your lens, you have the option to pick variations with the yellow, red, or green effect. The last one, sepia, gives a distinctive vintage look by adding a reddish brown color. After more than 12 years of photography, it is the first time I'm holding a Fuji camera. And now that I played with the film simulations, I would say yes, they are worth it. But now I discovered the three reasons why so many people prefer Fujis. Let me tell you. First of all, Fujifilm has built a good reputation as a photographic film producer. Their journey began almost a century ago in the 1930s. People don't just buy camera specs, they also want to use tools from a brand that has a strong history. Second reason, Although there are a lot of presets in Lightroom, they do not reproduce the film simulations created by Fuji's engineers. With the Fuji camera, you will get consistent results all the time. Third thing, and probably the strongest reason why film simulations are so valuable, color grading. Color grading is hard. Color grading causes a lot of stress for a lot of people. With a camera like this one, you will spend less time editing and more time doing what you love, shooting. Fuji, thanks to their history of making films, made one of the smartest moves ever with their film simulations. They deserve to be up there next to Sony and Canon. Fujifilm is for the passionate photographer that just wants to spend more time outside and less time inside editing. 
There are a lot of things that I could say about these cameras and I will make a separate vlog about the X-H1. But when it comes to film simulations, my opinion is that they truly add value, a worthwhile investment. Now, I would also love to hear your opinion. Is a Fuji camera a good investment? Please write your thoughts below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, press that like button and consider subscribing. See you on the next one, guys.